Hello there and welcome to this lesson. We are very happy that you are here again. In this part of the course you will learn how to evaluate your suppliers and how to do business with them. Like all other things, the evaluation of your supplier has its own process. This means that there are certain steps that need to be taken for you to evaluate suppliers to achieve your SRM goals. But don't worry too much because we will guide you through each step of the process. Before anything else, you need to ask yourself some very important questions. After all, these will help you as your guideline. Of course, we will also help you in asking the right questions, such as the following questions which you should be able to answer by the end of this module. How can I improve the performance of my supplier? What strategies can I apply to reach my SRM goals? How do I avoid slash deal with supplier risks? What are the mistakes I need to watch out for? How do I identify possible causes of conflict? How do I handle conflict? And how do I use scorecards to help me with SRM? The first step to evaluating suppliers in SRM is to know the right techniques for it. Using the right technique is important because it can easily improve the performance of your suppliers. Likewise, just as using the right technique can benefit you in many things, using the wrong technique can be disastrous for your company as well as for your time, money and reputation. That is why it's so important to learn the right techniques fitting for your company and for you as procurement professional. The second step is to apply the right tactics in SRM. We have outlined eight tactics you could use to improve SRM and your suppliers. The third step you need to take is to learn how to deal with supplier risks. To do this, you will need to know the kinds of supplier risks that exist, which we will teach you as you go further into this module. After that, we will teach you step by step how to deal with such risks so that it could be avoided. Aside from that, we also created a template you could use to summarize your supplier risks. The fourth step is to know which SRM mistakes to avoid. By learning the different types of SRM mistakes, you can keep an eye out for them and formulate plans to avoid or resolve them. We have outlined four big mistakes to avoid as well as possible resolutions and mitigation plans for each mistake. After all, prevention is better than cure. The fifth step is to identify the possible causes of dispute or conflict. Every problem that grew big always started as a bad seed. If these bad seeds are continuously avoided with no efforts to eliminate them, it could turn into a pretty big problem. That's why it's important to identify the possible causes of dispute early on for you to take them away and not to make it into a bigger problem in the future. You'll save much more time, energy, resources and money in doing so. Again, prevention is better than cure. In some cases, however, there are some instances where problems couldn't just simply be avoided. No matter how hard you try to draw up plans or strategies to avoid them, problems can be inevitable. In that case, all hope isn't lost yet. You just go to the sixth step, which is to handle conflict at hand. Here, you need to take a certain step to resolve the conflict presented to you. There are six simple steps you need to take from using a structured process to getting external support. We'll delve more into this later in the next lessons. Through this you can handle conflict with a calm mind. It'll be easy for you after learning how to handle conflicts effectively. There are also three alternative dispute resolution processes that we have created for you to have more options. After all, the more the merrier. With many choices for dispute resolution at your disposal, you will certainly be calm in times when problems arise. The final step will be using a supplier scorecard to help you with evaluating and improving your suppliers. By following these certain steps, you will be able to answer the questions posed in the first part and evaluate your suppliers effectively and efficiently. And as usual, we will be there with you through everything, from the first step down to the last one. So buckle up and get ready. You're in for a ride. And that's a wrap. 
See you guys in a bit for the next lesson.